Hi guys, thank you so much for joining. My name is Maureen Alantos and I'm a core team member for East Coast Salon Services. Today's haircut is going to be a long layered look. This is my bread and butter haircut that I use behind the chair and it works for any client as long as they have the long lengths. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to create our face frame. Face frame is usually the length that falls around the face and that is going to be the emphasis of the haircut. Once we establish a face frame, we are going to use that as a guide for the rest of the haircut. Stay tuned. All right, so the first step we're going to do is establish the center part. We're gonna first comb the hair away from the face, going directly back. Place the front of the comb directly in the center, right between the eyebrows, and then push with your index finger, going directly back. Separate and then comb the hair neatly towards each sides. The next step is to the next step is to create a diagonal section going back following the natural hairline. The width of the section is always going to depend on the density of the hair and also growth patterns, calyx, and natural recession line. So you always want to keep the sections wide enough so there is no hole that's happening right in the recession line. That's going to be the width of the section for this particular doll head. Obviously, when you're working with a client, you always want to make sure that you're adjusting your sections depending on the density of the hair and that recession line. When you are sectioning, always use the wide side of the comb so that you're not pulling on the hair too much and you're not making it inconvenient for a client. And once you're done sectioning, comb the hair out of the way and then place that clip flat against the scalp. Once we have our first section sectioned off, the first step is to make sure that we work in eye level. So we're gonna raise the chair or raise the tripod so that we're conveniently working and comfortably working for our body. I am going to start on my left side, which means I'm going to clip my right side out of the way so the first step is we're going to comb that hair directly down from a natural fall. We're going to establish the shortest piece where her face ring is going to start. So we're going to go with just below the chin, right into the existing length that we have here. I'm going to comb that hair directly forward from where it grows on the head. I'm going to lift that hair just off of the face. I'm going to hold that hair directly right where I want that shortest piece to be. Now, when I'm placing those fingers, I'm going to try to make sure that I'm holding them already at a diagonal because I know that I'm cutting from short to long and I want to make sure that those fingers are pointing towards the longest piece of that section. If I accidentally place my fingers and point them horizontally, I'm going to cut a lot of that length that's going to be overall length. So I want to make sure that I'm always bringing that hair just a little bit off of the face. My fingers are going to be diagonal. Slide my fingers down right till I see where I need that shortest piece to be and that's going to be just below the chin. Then the next step is I'm going to pick up my longest piece. Do you guys see that if I point my fingers slightly higher and knuckles all the way lower, I am drawing the line that's connecting my shortest piece with overall the longest length. So again, if I hold my knuckles pointing here, I'm gonna end up cutting off all of that length. So which means I wanna slide my knuckles all the way until the line that I'm creating between my fingertips and the knuckles, the knuckles are pointing towards the overall length. So that is going to be the angle that I wanna create for this specific haircut. Recomb it. Slide my fingers down. Here's my angle. I'm gonna move that comb out of the way. Place the scissor and cut just a little bit at a time. All right, so now that we established the guide here, we're gonna move over 
to the next part of the section. So next part of the section, which means I need, I'm going to need to move my body directly in front of the section that I'm working on. The next part of the section, we're going to continue elevating just a little bit off of the face. And we're going to extend the line that we just created. So make sure that you're seeing this guide really clear. If it's not visible and your fingers are not matching up to that line, you're going to end up cutting a different cutting line. So really be careful. Make sure you cut a little bit at a time so that you're creating a fluid line. And the last part of the haircut, again, we're going to move over a little bit tiny to the left, and then we're going to continue extending that line. So again, be really cautious of your finger angle. We want to create the same cutting line that we've been creating all the way from the top. And then we're going to go all the way until we reach our overall existing length. Once we're all done with this, we'll have a line that's going to go from shorter, just below the chin, overall to the existing length. All right, so now that we are finished with the left side, we're going to move on to our right side. I'm going to comb this down. Before I start my haircut, I want to make sure that I'm comfortable. So, which means I need to be at the eye level. I'm going to lower the tripod. I'm going to stand directly in front of my client. Before I continue, I need a little bit of my guide. So I'm going to take a little tiny bit of the section directly in the center. That's going to be my guide. That's going to be my shortest piece that I need to use as a guide for the rest of that section. So I'm going to stand directly in front. My body is parallel to my client. And now instead of my knuckles pointing to the overall length, now my fingertips are going to be pointing towards the overall length. Okay, so elevation is going to stay the same. Just a little bit off of the face. Slide your fingers down. Make sure your fingertips are pointing down, not parallel. Here's my guide. I'm going to grab the longest piece that I created with my overall length, with my line technique, and my fingertips are going to be pointing directly towards that length. This is really important. This is the most important part of the whole entire haircut. Once you establish this guide, the rest of the haircut is going to be simple. Use the guide. And then I'm going to cut a line that's going to go right to that guide. Next step, I'm going to move a little to the right and Elevation is going to stay exactly the same over direction, directly forward from where that hair grows from. Slide my fingers to make sure that I'm continuing that line all the way until I reach my overall length. Once I finish the whole side, now I could drop both sides down and then cross check my haircut. To cross check, I have to make sure that I'm bringing out hair from exactly the same points of the head. The reason for it is a cross check is really important to make sure that the balance of the haircut is correct. If I accidentally pick a hair from here and then I pick a hair from a little bit lower on the opposite side, since my cutting line goes from short to long, these guides are never going to match up. So I want to make sure that whenever I'm picking the length, I'm picking them from exactly the same points on the head. So my favorite places are top of the eyebrow. I'm going to bring that hair out, cross check it, and make sure that it's the same distance away from the head. The next one is going to be just past the recession line. Careful not to cross check at too high of elevation. The same elevation is how we cut it. And then my overall length. Once you check for the balance and it looks good, we can continue with the haircut. Now that we establish a face frame, which is going to be our guide for the rest of the haircut, we are going to separate the front and the back by sectioning off the hair that goes from the top of the head 
all the way to behind the ear. Once we establish that, we're going to clip it out of the way and then create a mohawk section that's going to be right directly in the center of the head. You're going to find a guide which is going to be the shortest piece coming from our face frame. That's the piece of hair that we don't cut. That's our guide. We want to go from that point and following our fingers all the way to the top of this section. Keep in mind that our over direction is going to be right in the center of the head. Next section is going to be again a horizontal section that's going to follow our previous sectioning. Anytime you're sectioning, always try to comb hair out of the way. Now, our over direction, as was no visible for our previous section, is going to be stationary. But now you guys can see my elevation. So lifting the hair about 90 degrees from where the hair grows from, over directing right in the center, using the shortest piece as a guide, you're gonna cut a line that's gonna gradually get longer towards the back of the head. So now careful not to lift your fingers anytime you are recombing. That will create more movement in the back. The look that we're going for for today is mostly movement around the face and everything else is going to stay nice and long. And now repeat on the opposite side. Keep your elevation following the guide that we created on the opposite side and over direction all into the first section. Once we establish the length in the front, we are going to resection the front from the back, but this time around, go right from the front of the ear. The reason for it is we want to use this area as a guide coming from the front and use it for the back. We're going to comb that hair directly back. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So now we'll have an inch, about an inch, width of the section that can be used as a guide for the rest of the hair. Once we do that, we're going to take a vertical section directly in the center of the head. Our elevation is going to be directly up to the ceiling and our over direction is going to be exactly where the hair grows from. We're going to bring it right into the center. So once I elevate thy hair, I'm going to keep my over direction directly up and my elevation directly up. The shortest piece that I see is my guide coming from the front. I'm going to keep my fingers parallel to the floor and whatever reaches is what I'm going to cut. Continue towards the next part of the section. Always stand right directly in front of that section and always work at an eye level. Find your guide, keep your fingers parallel to the floor, continue until you run out of hair to cut. The next section is going to be mirroring the previous section. So again, I'm going to take a vertical section, comb that hair out of the way, combine the two sections together, keeping my elevation and over direction exactly the same. I'm going to move that hair directly in the center and then bring that hair directly up towards the ceiling. So now I have a guide coming from the front and I have a guide that's between my fingers. Match your fingers to the guide. And make sure that you're cutting whatever the hair that's reaching your fingers.
Repeat on the opposite side. Take a section, comb that hair out of the way. Now I'm standing on my opposite side by my elevation and over direction is staying exactly the same. Bring that hair directly up, over direct the hair right into the center, find your guide and make sure that your knuckles and your fingertips are parallel to the floor. Continue until you run out of hair to cut. For styling, I decided to use my Olivia Garden metal round brush and a twisting technique to get the most amount of balance and volume. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Just keep in mind that this haircut could always be altered to your client's needs by changing your elevation and your over direction. And it's always going to depend whether you want more or less movement. Thank you so much.